Hey guys, Pete the Drummer here, and I'm back. It is summer 2017, and it's uh, season two, if you will. And today, we are back at Palisades Park, and uh, I'm hiking along the cliffs of Palisades Park, along the long path. And for today's video, we're going in search of Peanut Leap Falls and the garden ruins that are right next to it. Now, if you watch my channel, then you know, last summer, I did a video on Cliffdale Manor. And in that video, uh, I explained, and I'll just briefly explain again, that back around the early 1900s, this whole area used to be all lavish uh, private mansions and manors. And these were all people that were captains of their industry and made their fortune in New York City and in the early New York City. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the ruins that we're going to see today, other than the ruins that were simply a garden, part of a garden. It's a very interesting look at the kind of money and lavish lifestyles that the people used, that lived here, the, the way they used to live back in the early 1900s. Anyway, as you can see, I am following the long path, which is the hiking trail that runs through all of uh, Palisades Park. And in fact, the long path continues on into upstate New York for like 400 miles or so. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna meet up with the shore trail path, which is the white path. So we will pick up in a few minutes. So guys, I'm now standing at the boundary marker or boundary monument, which was erected in 1882. Uh, what that monument indicates is the state line between New Jersey and New York. Something kind of cool about the, uh, the long path is that uh, along the way, you'll come across areas where you can literally walk right up to the edge of the cliff. Some of the areas are fenced off, but some areas like this one are not. And you can literally stand right at the edge of the cliff. In fact, do you ever see those videos where some crazy Russian kids climb scaffoldings and whatnot? And film themselves. Whatever you do, don't look down. Sorry, that's not my line. That's just a nod to Adam the Woo. Don't mind the hair, by the way. I'm, I'm letting it grow. And if anyone has ever let their hair grow from a short haircut to long, then you know what I'm going through right now. I'm firmly in the awkward middle stage. And uh, between the awkward length, between the heat and the humidity, it's just a nightmare. Ugh. I do believe that this is the little stream that feeds uh, Peanut Leap Falls. And since there's not a whole lot of water flowing, that tells me that the falls are not going to be much to look at. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Look at that. One of the very cool things about hiking in New Jersey is wild raspberries. And this one is ripe. More down here. Nom, nom, nom. All 
Alright friends, I'm pretty much at the bottom of the stairs now, so it's time for the big reveal. The abandoned ruins at the base of Peanut Leap Falls. Here we go. Now approaching at the top of the ruins. Here's a quick look at some of the old stairs and the winding path into the garden area. We're going to go all down, all down there in just a minute. Over this way, we can see Peanut Leap Falls. Not much to look at today. This wall here, from what I found online, used to continue and go off that way somehow, making this a swimming hole. There we go. How's that? Okay, so, what's the story with this place? Well, this whole area was once part of the private land owned by a man named Henry Lawrence. Lawrence was descendant from a prominent New York family going all the way back to the 1600s. And Henry Lawrence built his summer home called Cliffside here, somewhere, probably up on the cliffs. But all of this land All of this land was part of his private property. Later, he had a daughter named Mary Lawrence. Mary and her sister, they spent their childhood summers here exploring the lands, exploring the cliffs and whatnot. And in Mary's later life, she married a French sculptor named Francois Tanetti. And it was Francois and Mary who built these ruins because Mary wanted to recreate an Italian garden. And so Mary and Francois built the ruins, and there's really not much left to see of the, of the garden, but apparently in this whole area, there was columns and like a pergola style. Here's a better example of it. You can see here the remains of the curvature in the concrete there. You can see where there was seating areas. Here's some more foundation wall. And here is the last remaining bit of column. So Mary eventually, uh, I think uh, if I read it correctly, Francois died in 1920. And Mary ended up, uh, after that Mary lived here year round, spent her time here in the gardens along the Hudson River. That's the Hudson River right there. And eventually Mary died in 1947. But that's it. That's the whole story. And as you come down towards the riverbank, you can see a little swing. I'm not sure who put the swing there, but that's obviously new. There's a, a little seating area. You can see how uh, eroded this area has gotten since this uh, bench was put in. I mean, that's the concrete foundation for the bench and it's completely exposed. And here we are, right on the, uh, right on the bank of the Hudson River. So guys, just a little uh, side note, little PS to the video. I know I've already ended it, but uh, wanted to point this out. This road that I'm walking on as I make my way back to 
the uh, <clears throat> state line lookout parking lot back to my car. This was the road that the owners of all these grand estates used to travel on to get to their respective homes. Back in the early 1900s, this was known as Hudson Drive. Later, it became Route 9W. And of course, this is all before the creation of Palisades Interstate Parkway. This was Route 9W. And then after the parkway was built, this is now known as Old Route 9W. Because there, if you're familiar with this area, there is a proper Route 9W that starts around Fort Lee, New Jersey, and goes all the way up. I mean, you can take 9W. I've taken it as far north as uh, Albany, New York. So, just wanted to point this out. Quick look at the old Hudson Drive. It's now an abandoned road. The road is still in pretty decent shape, just lots of debris, as you can see. Anyway, that's it. Go take a hike.